Hello again everyone, it's Pete here. Um, sort of further update on this 69 Falcon. Um, I've decided to open up the grill and that on it. Um, and I will do a few bits and bobs to it as well. Um, I'd like to thank everybody who gave me advice on this kit the other day. Um, a couple of days ago. I don't really know much about this style of racing. We don't have this over here. Um, it's a basic kit and, and the basic um, build, really. Uh, so I'm going to sort of stick with it with a few sort of changes I'm going to do with it. And while I'm here, I noticed on the box art, I don't know whether you can see down there, that that section of bumper is blacked out. The middle section there. And I just wondered whether that was actually a slot. If anyone knows and can help, whether it's a slot or whether it was painted in as black on, on the real car. As at the moment, I've stripped all the chrome off of everything, and if that is a slot, I'll bore it out. And if it was a black infill panel, I'll paint it when I come round to redoing the bumpers. So anyway, um, so that's that bit of this. I hope I can shunt this camera forward a bit without it going all, all, all too morally mental. Um, as you can see in the background, I've uh, stripped off the chrome off of everything. Oh, I don't want to use that. Um, go back to that pen. Um, stripped off the chrome off of nearly everything. Uh, I've just popped everything together. The steering wheel really, really is nice. Come on, focus in on, on over there. It, it's gone again, isn't it? What are you bloody... Hang on. Let's just try going a bit further forward then. Um, and it twizzle around a bit. That steering wheel really is... Uh, tweezers, tweezers, where are you? A really nice bit of the kit. I wish I had more of these. Now I've stripped it off and, and can look at it better. It really is a lovely steering wheel. Oh, I'm so impressed. Oh, God, come on, focus on This bloody camera just doesn't like me. No, I don't think any of them does. That's why I don't show my face. I'll definitely break it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It really is a lovely moulding. There you go. That's one of the nicest steering wheels I've seen. I've got a few little tags and things to clean up on it. But, but uh, you know, I've just given it a light uh, rub round to get rid of the main part of the seam around there. But it, it's, it's absolutely a lovely little moulding. I'm chuffed to bits with just the steering wheel. I know silly things can tickle strange people. Um, on the... Come on, sort yourself out. On the uh, back there, why am I on that focus? Not too close. Let's try backing away again. Come on, focus for me, you banana. There we go. Don't know what happened there. Um, that's the cross member of, of the roll cage and it did have a, a big sort of uh, back pad thing on it and I've removed that and I'll, I'll remake another pad. Oh, excuse me. Just had my bowl of gruel and, and uh, that's repeating on me. Uh, so... I'll, I'll make a new back pad for there. I've cleaned all the wheels off, or wheel backs, the brake hubs. Because although they, they were chrome, the chrome wasn't particularly good on this. It really is an old kit. Maybe that was half the thing of me with it. Um, so I just stripped off all the chrome. Um, and then you can see the front bumper is now separate from the grill because I've uh, just separated it. It was just easier to get on and do that. But it's that slot I want to know about, if anyone knows. I think there was indicators in each corner of it, or marker lights. But I don't know whether that... Because it's very deep in, in this, and I don't know whether it was actually a real slot 
which I find hard to believe really. I would have thought it was a black inlay panel. But now it's like that, it would be easier to do it now, if, if I knew, um, than regret it later. I, I hate these sort of things where, oh, you know, you see something later and think, oh, bugger, you know, I could have done that. Uh, um, going back to the grill, I know not everybody washes shorts, and I did show this uh, that I'd got a little way through doing this, but I think it makes a hell of a difference clearing these grills through. I really do. Um, this one isn't easy to do because it is so fine, but I use the same technique generally, so I thought I'd, I'd show that and. As you can see again, most of the work is done on the back of it. And if I whiz you around to the wall, maybe. Yeah. You know, and, and I don't use a Dremel uh, or any power tool. You know, I, I just think spending a couple of hours doing this, that really does look good through there probably better in, in, in reality than it does in... But that's quite neat and, and I think it's well worth doing on a lot of models as it just gives you a much more realistic finish than putting black wash in and um, although I'll, I will be putting black paint and all the chrome back on it <coughs> or, or trim on it, I don't think it's chrome at all um, there again, I, I think it's probably a, a, a stainless or aluminum trim panel. But uh, the main thing is, is the tools I use for it. Like I said, I don't use a Dremel. And I use this a lot of the time. I start off, you can still see the swarf on it, by scraping away a trough in the back and... And if you hold these up to the light, even in a solid state, you can often see the sort of demarcation panel of the panel lines. And I go over them, try to draw on the back with my black marker pen, the pattern that I want, you know, the area I want to focus on, and then scrape down with that with this knife to get most of the way through the back of it until I can really start seeing things. Because with it being such a fine grill, you know, if you used a, a power tool, you'd get halfway through and suddenly snag you know, all the way through and, and bugger it up. You know, so I don't do that. And I've um, altered the shape of, this is another, another scalpel blade. If you can see the tip of that scalpel, I've been sort of filing that down and reshaping it to not, not really cut so much as push and I did use that to slightly push a little bit through um, there's a little bit of swarf still in there but it's, it really is a fine piece but when I come to um, nearer parts I said about pushing there when I've got through here with my scribing tool, I, I stopped myself from doing the rest of it just to sort of show on this vid. Um, I'll try to get another, this is a brand new number 11 tip, and get into there. Am I going to screw this up live on camera? I don't know. Bear with me. But, um,. You really have got to be careful. I'm sure you can hear my heart beating, my breath. And, and with the, the shape of, of the tip, I can't see. I think I could see on there. Maybe if I uh, put my arms either way around the, around the camera over there. God, no, I can't even reach it. Um, bear with me a tick. Well, bear with me if you're interested in doing this shit. If not, just ping it off. Go and watch somebody else glue something together. Um, I'm going to try and do it. I was using a head, you know, a head. Oh, there we go. 
Optivisor and I've only got my glasses on at the moment, which is probably a major error. Ah, right, there we go. Right, let's start on that one there. Using the, the tip of my knife so as it's the, the thick edge is, you know, towards the end of there. Can I get that in? Is that actually showing up? Right, I can then just really carefully, I mean, this is... And then turn it around and come the other way. So as most of them swarf, it's going to come into the middle and, and you just feel it pick away. But I am taking off absolutely microns of cuts. And to get the square shape in there, into the corner, you're going to have to come back in, in again with the sharp tip and clear into the corners. I'm going to, not going to do a lot of... Um, Hang on, I'll swap the glasses over just to carry on. I mean, I could try and look through the uh, camera screen. Maybe that is a way people do a lot of fine detail stuff. I, I don't really think of it in a... No, it's not helping me at all. I'll just look. But you want to get in carefully and just lift that out. Because I've now um, taken just the back away and there's a minor membrane behind, if I can do a, do a couple of these for a minute. I don't know how thick any of these are, and that's another thing you'll feel for, is it's finer on the second row, because you, when you're clearing away in the back, you'll... Oh, don't shake for God's sake, Pete. LDTs. If you're, uh, you know, the way you clear it out will just leave the centre area slightly finer than the areas of, of the the front. And see, um, the the area um, uh, nearer this edge will be slightly thicker, so you'll need a bit more of a push to clear the outer ones um, free. But it is a matter of uh, just delicately working on it and feeling your way through. It does take hours. This is not another thing that's uh, not not a quick task, but I going back to that other scalpel that I showed with the push tip um, That one I can now get in Just give it a slight push and the swarf that I'm creating will now Be round to the back. You don't want to push in far. Like I said, I've reshaped this tip so that it's got a, a longer rounder edge and uh, now I've got to this stage, if I flip that now around, hopefully, you can see those minor hairs of swarf there sticking up. And that, again, I'll still use the dull one here for the moment. Where is it? Just drag that away and try to clear it up and then uh, go back to another one this is back with the sharp one stop it I'm resting my elbow funny and it's causing twitch just get these little bits of swarf out of the way <laughs> what have we got Come on camera. And <laughs> work your wire along it. Right, so just start getting it, it cleared up. Now obviously I this this isn't how totally me doing it properly because I don't want to break this. I don't want to I can't do it twice, I haven't got another grill. But 
eventually I'll have it like this and I don't know whether you can see there's just in that area there's a bit of a ripple to it now with this being in a in the racing category it is I'm not too worried about this being uh, beaten up a little bit but on the sort of thicker areas if I feel I need to push more what I've if I haven't knocked it off what I've done is strip down a um, one of these uh, sanding pads just down to the rubber center and trimmed it down so as I've got a piece that will go into that back uh, here we go like that and then I can use that as a sort of support like an anvil uh, to support that grid from distorting too much while I actually push with one of my knife blades in against it and it's better than sticking a sharp scalpel right in your bleeding finger or your not not yet bleeding finger but it will be once you've stuck a scalpel through it and but the idea was just clear this swarth away so, I mean it is only microns thick what I'm actually clearing out um, after all the, the scribing into the background there it's, uh, rapidly clearing this one out um, of a little bit more I mean uh, the other thing is um, I find that this is going to be silly, but I find it, uh, on English radio, we, we've got a channel that has dramas on it, on the radio. And I find that if I've got a, a drama on in the background, you know, a bit of old Dickens or whatever the hell it is, I've been listening to uh, Anthony Trollope recently, the uh, Barsetshire Chronicles which is about an old thicker as it goes in the 18th century and got really into that and was able to do this sort of thing um, far more comfortably than if I just had music on in the background. Oh, don't wobble now. I can see an horrible bit of swarf there. <coughs> I'm going to do the, stop doing this for the moment. I'm sure you've all got the idea. But having a drama on in the background, I find alters my mental approach. If it's just music, it doesn't help um, distract me from this. The dog's bloody distracting me, she's chewing her nails. But a drama, I find I get my head right into what's going on on the radio and not... Uh, not get too stressed out doing this and it works much better I don't know how but something in, in my brain works different if I'm listening to I've got a crack there just broke it in the top corner it's got, got a little breakage up there um, which is one of these bits of dirt off the circuit come on zoom into that horrible bit just broke it across that little bit there what I'll do with that oh that's why because I haven't moved my my support pad over but what I'll do is um push it back out a level with that and then get a small dot of of uh, liquid cement on a knife blade and dab it into that corner and reseal that again so as it will glue back together but that's the point of having, I should have, um, just trying to do this and not think about really what I'm doing, not paying attention. Um, and before I do much more to it, I'll, I'll repair that little corner, because I'll get distracted again. But, um, dog, will you shut up a minute? I've got the crunching, it's like, Someone eating Weetabix in the background. 
but slowly scribe my way through to get all that lot cleared out. Um, and it, it do, I, I really do think this makes a, as, as much difference as putting in a distributor. Anyway, um, that's cool. Bring it now. That's basically it for today. So as I can get back to doing it properly. Uh, I hope it's a help. I hope you give it a go. Thanks for watching and best wishes from jolly old England.